What's up guys, welcome back to my new video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the best gaming room for the Poco X3 Pro. As you guys can see, this is my Poco X3 Pro right now. You guys can see this is the smartphone and right now I'm using Pixel Experience Plus in this. And this is the Android 12 version by the way. It is really awesome, it works really awesome. I just love it. But now in this video, the topic is not Pixel. It is the best gaming room. Now in terms of the best gaming room, I have three rooms which I'm going to share with you guys. And all of these rooms are, which I'm going to share are really awesome. So let's get started. And the number one on my list is Gladiator OS. Now Gladiator OS basically has two parts. We have the Gladiator OS Normal and we have the Gladiator OS eSports. And you know what? These two rooms are absolutely different. Although they might seem same, they might look same, but they are different. First of all, the Gladiator OS normal version is pretty smooth. It does lag a little bit while scrolling Instagram and doing WhatsApp or something like recording a 4K video. But overall, you will never find any problem. It doesn't heat up a lot. And you know what? That room is also acceptable. It's really good in terms of the performance. And you're going to get 90 FPS in BGMI, which in itself is an awesome thing. Now we have the Gladiator OS eSports. So the Gladiator OS eSport is also good, but not the best. And I'm going to give you reasons for that as well. Now since I tried Gladiator OS in this Poco X3 Pro, I just hated the fact that it doesn't look good. You know, the screen colors, the saturation doesn't look that good in the eSports version. In the normal version, it looks fantastic. And you know, there are some few choppiness in that, like the, you know, once you use this pixel room, see how smooth it is, you know, it's the smoothest room ever. But once you will go to Gladiator OS or maybe any other MIUI based room, you will see that smoothness is basically reduced to half. That's how it is. The smoothness is very, very less in those rooms, especially the eSports version. It is very choppy. Open app, it feels like the animation is going as low as like 60 hertz or maybe something like 60 FPS. These are the things which I have noticed in the eSports version. But don't get me wrong, that room is still very good for gaming. But my purpose is to tell you an overall best gaming room, you know. I just don't want the gaming performance to be good. I want overall performance like even if you're using the room day to day, you won't feel bad for it. You won't feel that okay, it's just for gaming and it is lagging for day to day uses like scrolling Insta, man, come on. It shouldn't be the case, you know. And that's my motive. That's my objective of this video. So Gladiator OS done. Let's move on to MIUI. And yeah, MIUI normal version is really bad. We all know it. That's the main reason I have started the channel to change rooms. And now we have the MIUI EU that is on the second list. It's really awesome. And yes, believe me, you know, MIUI EU is way better than the original MIUI. And I'm going to give you reasons for that. The normal MIUI heats up a lot, a lot, man. Come on, you guys know it, right? It does heat up a lot. And the MIUI EU heats way less compared to the normal. And heating is very dangerous to smartphones. So if your smartphone is heating or uh, and you can change custom rooms, you should though. So, Let's talk about MIUI EU. It's pretty awesome. It's a good ROM. It has 60 FPS in BGMI. It does not offer 90 FPS like Gladiator OS, but still it's MIUI base. It lags at times. I don't feel it. I don't find it the smoothest, but its launcher has that animation of app open and close. That looks basically like I'm using an iPhone. Now that animation is my favorite. Now let's move on to the third room and this is basically by far my best gaming room gaming room for the Poco X3 Pro and that is Hydrogen OS. Man, <laughs> that is a room to have, you know. It is the best gaming room, the best overall room. Now let me tell you why. First of all, it is not based on MIUI, the biggest thing, you know. MIUI based all the rooms are somewhere lacking in some or the other feature. Hydrogen OS is lacking absolutely nowhere but it doesn't have the camera features as MIUI and Gladiator OS has. That is one area where it lacks, but other than that, it crushes the competition. We have the Oxygen OS type of uh, interface, and man, that is million times better. Mark my words, Oxygen OS, Hydrogen OS is million times better than MIUI. That's the truth, that's the inevitable truth. 
So yeah, that's what I'm saying. Hydrogen OS is very good in terms of its performance. It does offer 90 FPS in BGMI without any config. You don't need to even worry about how much FPS you're going to get. That's really awesome. And overall, I'm very satisfied with Hydrogen OS. It gives the best gaming performance. Colors are also looking very nice, but there's a big problem or there is like not a big problem compared to other ROMs. There is a little problem and that is it does heat up. Yeah, you heard it right, it does heat up. Gladiator OS heats up basically the same amount like MIUI normal version on the Poco X3 Pro. And this phone is my favorite phone. Like I really love this a lot. I don't want this phone to get heated up anytime soon. So that's the thing, it does heat up my phone and that's the main reason I have changed the Glad Hydrogen OS to Pixel. Pixel, <clears throat> the best room, but it's not good for gaming. So that's pretty much it for part one of this video. Obviously more parts are coming and yes, I'm going to test out more rooms like Evolution OS, Dot OS and a lot of gaming rooms. You just have to comment down below which room to test. I will do it and I'll make a video about it. So if you're new, make sure to smash the like button. Like him is just handed, do it and subscribe him is 2000. That's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Peace out.